Today we're going to be taking a look at the rebuild process for the Bulldog 2,000 pound lift capacity round trailer jacks. What we're looking for is the Sidewind style. These are going to be the 150 series jacks and pretty simple process for rebuilding the jack. Uh, depending on your needs, you'll need three different parts. We've got our replacement cap here. This is part number BD015500. You may or may not need this if yours is undamaged, but it is important to keep dirt and debris from getting in the top of your jack. We've got our replacement handle and gear kit. Now this is gonna have just about everything that we're gonna need to rebuild the jack. You can see we've got our bevel gears here. We've got the flanged bushings that fit on the outside tube of the jack. Got the pressure bushing there, the pins, and some washers. We've also got our handle. So this is gonna take care of the complete upper end of the jack. Now once we get below this bottom gear, there's a bushing that is inside of the jack. That's a, our friction reducer. So it's a good idea once you get to that point, go ahead and re switch out the bearing. The gear kit with the handle, everything over here is gonna be BD500256, and then the bushing in addition, BD500251. Let's get these kind of moved over to the side. We'll start taking this jack apart. For the flat blade screwdriver, we'll just wanna Remove the cap if it still is on your jack. Then inside here, you'll see it's pretty greasy. We're gonna go ahead and wipe out all of that that we can. Now we'll turn our jack to where you'll see that little half moon cutout that's in our gear. Our pin's gonna be right in behind there. We can take a 5 30 second punch. We're gonna get that driven on through. Now once we get it most of the way through, we're gonna to have to angle our handle a little bit to give it enough room to come completely out. We'll lift up on our handle once that's through. We'll easily slide out. You can see that's gonna be a direct replacement of it. We've got five and three quarters of an inch in total handle length here. That gives us good leverage. You see, once your handle comes out, your gear is just gonna drop down. See, again, these gears are universal, so the bottom gear fits the side, side gear fits the bottom. We don't wanna forget the pin for our handle. You can see the pin that goes in the handle, that's gonna have the little grooves in it, whereas the pin for our base gear is going to be uh, solid. It's not gonna have any grooving in it. The base gear is just going to slide off. And then there's also a floating pin that goes through that middle section, which is the screw. So we can take that out. And right below it's that thicker black washer. This is going to act as a support washer for our gear inside. Then we can just tap out this square portion there. That's that flange bushing. It's going to fit right over in the square hole. That just gives our handle a much wider area to ride on so it's not riding on just the thin tube of the jack there. All right, now it's time to pull on the base or we can just lift up on the outer tube. And inside we've got our bearing and our other support washer you see there. It's gonna, goes right down on top of the screw and our bearing fits on there. It's gonna offer us a very, very low friction operation. And you'll see the screw just threads down into that base plate. So as we turn it, this expands, running the jack down, go the other way, it's gonna bring our jack back up. This screw is very, very hard to damage. So if your jack isn't operating properly, it probably has to do with this bushing creating friction or the gears not meshing together anymore. So this is gonna be exactly how you'd go through the process of rebuilding it. So we'll have our new bearing in place and the support washer that comes with it. Now we can bring our jack outer tube down on the inner tube here. We want to align that elongated dimple with the grooves. We can bring that all the way down and then our screw is going to come right back through the hole that's in the top of it. At this point, we're going to put our washer back in place. This is that larger black support washer. We've got our base pin. 
it's going to slide through. Now we want that to be about equal on both sides. You can see how it's about equal in how much is hanging out of each side of our screw. And in your case, you're going to grab your new pieces as you put this back together. But this is a brand new jack. We're just taking it apart so we can get a good look at it. So we're going to reuse our old stuff from our gear. We want to be sure that our pin sits in the enclosed slot, not the open slot. Right. And that should sit down so that the top of the gear is almost dead flush with the top of the screw. Flange bushing will go back in. Might offer a little resistance, but nothing too crazy. And we'll take our other gear, and again, these are universal. It doesn't matter which one you use for which spot. We're going to place that in so that the gears line up. They're going to mesh together. Then our handle is going to come up through the bushing. It's going to come through the gear and right out the other side there. You see the hole in the handle. We want to rotate our gears so that that half moon opening lines up with the hole. Place the pin that has the little grooves in it right in between that bushing and the gear and that opening. Slide it in and then we need to tap it in far enough so it's not going to offer any interference. It should be just inset to the gear. Right, right back together. Now we we'll want to use a good quality grease uh, it doesn't have to be a high temp grease or anything like that. And we're going to go in there and make sure we get this fully lubricated. You can see, we're right back to brand new there. We'll have great smooth operation. It's going to make our trailer very easy to lift and lower with all of our new components in there and fresh grease. Now the replacement cap. You see it's got a little bit of a notch there in the grooves. I like to line that up with the notch that's in the tube of the jack itself. That's just going to tap on pretty quick and easy. And that's going to complete our rebuild of the Bulldog 150 series jacks. As you can see with a few parts and a few tools you can really save yourself a lot of money as opposed to buying a brand new jack. Click the link below to shop learn more or visit us at eTrailer.com.